Happy Sunday, everyone. This is Am Lee, your everyday light worker, and I am here to inform you of the launch of my new employment prosperity coaching business that is being transformed from my employment litigation business where um, I litigated many an employment case and I've been doing employment law for 30 years. I am a lawyer, an employment lawyer, and about midway last year, I had to change course with regard to that because when you litigate, it rhymes with, litigator rhymes with gladiator. So it is a lot like fighting. Um, it's not physical, but it is very energetic and it is fighting with words and it can exhaust you in the same way. So I have been litigating employment cases for the past five years. It has been exhausting. Um, as well as taking on cases with clients, what I found in employment law um, over the past four years is that the state of the American judiciary is getting more and more corrupt and saddled with um, judges and lawyers who absolutely do not want to do the right thing or even respect the law or the Constitution. Um, all of that is kind of going down the drain, which is dragging the profession down as well. And I just didn't want to be in the sewer slinging mud anymore. So I was like, how can I do what I have been doing for clients in a more efficient and more effective way? So I decided to transform my business, Alchemy Enterprises, that you can find online at alchemyconsultants.org into a coaching business where I'm offering online classes about how to navigate um, the 21st century workplace. And it's getting more confusing, more convoluted, and more um, uncertain every single day because there's just a lot of toxicity in American society right now. We're going through a lot of changes, a lot of transformation. And if you are younger, you know, you that's all you've known. I have a millennial friend who tells me that, you know, her entire life has been nothing but American upheavals from um, September 11th onward. Just one thing after another, falling apart, breaking down, and there's no trust among millennials in the system. And I get it. I'm Gen X. And in my lifetime, I've seen so many kind of stable systems just completely breaking down. And as this is happening, it's hard to know, well, what are some tried and true principles that will help you navigate the world as things become ever more unstable, ever more toxic, ever more um, nefarious. What can you do to protect yourself and to navigate your career or your business? So um, my coaching site is about um, prosperity, whether you have a job, whether you have a profession or whether you have a business, there are certain fundamental principles that will get you where you're going. So one of the courses that I offer is Professionalism 101, and you need to understand the basic concepts of professionalism in order to thrive, in order to attract clients, in order to navigate the workplace with dignity. These things are things that you simply need to understand. So that's like my um, most basic and primary core course is Professionalism 101. My second core course, because there is so much toxicity in American workplaces today, is surviving a toxic work environment. It can be done, but first you have to know what a toxic work environment is. There is just so, there's so many toxic workplaces and there's so much toxicity in American workplaces that um, a lot of times people don't know what these toxic work environments are. Like they are in the environment and they just think this is work. Well, no, there are certain um, red flags that let you know that your toxic, your environment is toxic and that you are being subjected to abuse, um, domestic abuse, abuse in the home. We've all 
known that that exists and we know how that operates because that has been um, heavily featured in the media for, you know, almost all of my life. I was talking to a millennial friend today about this show called The Burning Bed and how that put it on the map for all of us. What abuse in the home looks like and, you know, how it can end very tragically with someone being burned up in a bed. That, that's how that movie ended. Um, but work environments, unfortunately, have these same toxic people in here. And what the toxicity comes from is just power dynamics and an abuse of power. So you need to know how to recognize who these toxic people are, how they operate. And, you know, it usually has to do with power and power dynamics and how people who have been given power abuse power and how they want to retain power, just the kind of games that they play. We'll talk about all of that. But you protect yourself first and foremost by being aware of the existence of these power dynamics and that people are always trying to um, engage, certain people are always trying to engage in power play in unfair power dynamics because of uh, this behavior is usually learned and so much of America's environment is toxic where people are trying to overpower another person um, that it's, it's just our environment and our society is replete with these kind of behaviors. So you're going to run into it at work, usually. Um, you're very lucky if you're working at a place where you're not running into this kind of toxic bullying behavior. But um, if you do, and more likely than not, you will, um, there's just certain ways that you can conduct and you can behave where you kind of sidestep all of that. So those are the two core classes that I am going to be introducing sooner as opposed to later. And I wanted to um, let you guys know that this is something that I am going to be rolling out on my website. That's alchemyconsultants.org um, soon. Let me see if I can pull up. I have my, my website on my phone. So let me see if I can pull this up on my phone so that you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, so you know this is going to be backwards because of how these cameras work. I understand it's a mirror image, it's backwards. But um, here are, here's an um, image of my um, website as it shows up on my phone. So it's Alchemy Enterprises. And these are some courses that I'm going to be offering. Professionalism 101 is that first one. Surviving a toxic work environment is that second one. Thriving at work is a third. Writing like a lawyer is a fourth class that um, I am going to be um, developing. So all of these courses are in development mode right now. But um, I wanted to let you all know that that's something that I'm working on. Um, and I, I know that so many people will get so much out of it. I was trying to think of a way that I could that I could do the work that I do, which is basically help people from in surviving just the toxicity that they're exposed to. And um, usually it's by filing lawsuits, it's by litigating or writing threatening correspondence as only lawyers know how to do. And that's why um, I'm, I have this course called Writing Like a Lawyer so you can understand the buds words that you need to say to get someone to be responsive. And sometimes it works, but a lot of times it doesn't anymore just because of how our judiciary is breaking down. And they're like, yeah, you can threaten to sue, but sue where and in what environment? And who's going to do, who's going to make me stop doing the horrible things that I do to you at work? No one. Um, so a lot of people are entrenching in their very toxic work behaviors. And I know um, a lot of people are going to be like, yeah, tell me about it. I know all about it. Unfortunately, this is something that, um, you know, is is running rampant like an epidemic. Fortunately, with COVID, a lot of us were able to begin working at home and, you know, we're able to move out of those toxic work environments. And that has been a blessing for so many people. So many people are so happy, so much more happier working um at home online. And um, that was one of the things that made my life and even litigation because I would mainly litigate before the EOC and, you know, everything became virtual over the phone or on the Zoom. And that does make life a lot simpler. So there are things that are happening 
that are just automatically mitigating the toxicity of work environments. But even so, like this toxic energy does not want to die. So even when you're working at home, you're still having to deal with certain levels of toxicity. And um, we'll discuss all of that. Drop me some comments below if you feel like you're dealing with a toxic environment and we can begin a dialogue on what to do about it. Um, that's what I'm here for. Am Lee, your everyday light worker. I want you to remember that life is beautiful and extraordinary and don't let anyone steal your joy and take that truth away from you. All right. Love you. See you soon.